In this video, we're going to learn how to use the isControl function in C to check if a character is a control character or not. The first thing we'll do is include the C type library where the function is defined. Now a control character is basically a special character which doesn't take up a printing position on the terminal. So characters like newline and tab and null and backspace, these characters are all control characters because they don't take up a printing position on the terminal. Let's test out the function. Up here, we'll declare a car variable C and we'll assign to C the control character tab. So we'll have backslash T here for tab. Then we'll call the function and we'll pass it C as an argument. So the is control function is I S C N T R L. And we pass the function a character as an argument. So here we'll have C. Now, if that character is a control character, the function is going to return true. Otherwise the function is going to return false. So we'll have here, if the function returns true, then we'll output here character is a control character followed by a new line. Otherwise we'll output here character is not a control character followed by a new line. And if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here character is a control character because it is. If we pass the function, let's say uppercase A, this character is not a control character. If we save compile and run the program, we'll get here character is not a control character because it's not. Now we could also pass the function a character that's part of a string. So for example, we could have here the car ray S and inside the car ray S, we could have the string line one backslash N and then line two where backslash N is the new line character. Now each character in this string is stored at an index of S. So this uppercase L character here is stored at the index zero. This next character lowercase I is stored at the index one and so on for the rest of the characters in this string. What we could do is pass the function, the character at the index six, which is backslash N new line. We'll have here S at the index six. And if we save compile and run the program, we'll now get character is a control character because new line is a control character. If we pass the function, let's say the character in the string at the index two, that's going to be lowercase n, which is not a control character. Then if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here character is not a control character, which is correct. Now more accurately, if the function is passed a control character as an argument, it's going to return a non-zero integer, where in C, a non-zero integer is considered true. If the function is passed a character, which is not a control character as an argument, the function is going to return zero, where in C, zero is considered false. So this is how we can use the isControl function in C to check if a character is a control character or not. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.